Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Review. Today we're doing a little comparison video. Uh, both of these are from, yeah, 2013. They're both Belgian Christmas ales. Uh, we have Delirium Nocturnum, sure, if I pronounce it, and Corsodonx Christmas. Um, I don't know if I've had these since 2013. I think I've been sitting on them this whole time. So, uh-oh. Oh, okay. That was a big pop. I thought maybe something was going to come out. Nope, we're good. Smells pretty good. This one I waxed, that one I did not, obviously. So anyway, so I don't remember a lot of this. I'd have maybe I've had it since. I don't remember. Um but anyway, I thought, wait, I have one of each, and they're both from 2013, and they're both Christmas beers from Belgium, blah 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 blah. So I figured let's do a comparison. That is a lot of head. Okay. <laughs> um I should have poured these and talked about them. I didn't have something to set both of them on, so I guess this is what they look like. Well, it's not as crazy on this one. So, anyway, I'll let that go down a little bit. Um, this one is 8.1% ABB, the Corsodonk. And the Delirium is 8.5. So what did I say? 8.5, 8.1. So really close. Um, I'll start with this one since the head is not quite as crazy. That's what it looks like. Kind of very cola-y, a little bit of red-brown on the outside edges. Um, it, like dead center, it's black, but it's definitely very brown. The head, a little hair darker here bubbles a hair more compact this beer looks a little darker maybe no actually the colors are very similar this one no yeah, actually very similar almost hard to tell a difference uh let's get into the nose definitely get that belgian yeast uh, banana you get almost like not burnt banana but there's like this interesting not in a bad way but a burnt note oh it burnt sugar that's what it is Very sweet dried fruit, not like the Sammy Claus level stuff. Like it doesn't smell like they've been soaked in rum or something, but definitely sweet uh, dried fruit and candy, just like generic sugar. <laughs> Let's try this one. The nose is much weaker on this. Wow. Pretty low. I just get like sweetness, very generic sweetness. A little bit of banana. Really fighting for anything there. Cinnamon. Maybe it's too much head. That's yeah. This is really tough to uh, get a good aroma on. Uh, maybe as I drink, I can pull some more stuff out of the aroma. Uh, let's try this one first. Of course, it on. Cheers. Grape, it kind of reminds me of St. Bernardus, which is 10%, so it's a little bit higher ABV. It's almost like if that was a stout, this would be the porter version. Like this is like a step down. Um, not watery, but definitely thinner um, because I'm probably used to that St. Bernardus and stuff. It does drink like a step down, at least in terms of mouthfeel. But flavor wise, a lot of those similar or same flavors. The grape first, but then also some dried fruit. Candy, again, like generic sugary, just candy. Uh, bread, sweet bread. Definitely a yeasty note there. Tiny bit of like prickly spice from the yeast. And a, l a little bit of a rye note, which is actually very pleasant. Cut, Kind of helps cut through some of the sweetness there. Not bad. Uh, uh, I would gladly age this again. If you like St. Bernardus, definitely get this one. If you want just like a lighter version of it. Um, and conversely, if you already like this beer and have ever had the St. Bernardus Christmas, get that one. It's like a bigger, fuller version of that. Let's see if I get some more in the aroma here and then I'll get into the taste. Almost like a candied orange now. 
But again, the, the, the nose is not as good in this. Um, so the, definitely the nose here, without a doubt. Um, it's going to taste. Cheers. It's just not good. Um, tastes like a dense bread. A little menthol taste. But yeah, like it's just a very dense, very bread like. I, mean, I like sweet things like this course. Now you can probably tell if you're watching. This is clear, clearly the winner. This one, too dry for me for a Christmas sale. Um, there's nothing fun about it. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't buy that again. To be honest with you, um, this one I think I did praises enough. This one not for me. Would not purchase again. So the winner is Corset on Christmas again. They're both four years old. Uh, they're both through 2013. Thanks for watching. I always appreciate everyone. Check me out on Instagram and Untap. It's no hype beer reviews at both of those places. As always, please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe the good one. Cheers.